Right, so we're doing a sports logos tier list, and I obviously don't know anything about sports. I don't believe I know any of these teams. I know everyone. Yeah, you're you're gonna have to, uh, you know, lead the charge. Here. Will do. Okay, uh, should we just jump into it? What's this uh, first one? First up, we got the Angels. It's a little basic, but I like it. It's it's got the sort of halo, so mm -hmm. like it shows what it's about, and it's also the A for angels. Yeah, but it's, it's a little basic, just yeah. a tiny bit basic. It's representative, but it's basic. Maybe in B, maybe. Yeah, it could be. What, what's what's this next one? Just the big C. Oh, it's the Bears, the Chicago oh, Bears. All oh, right, okay. That is so basic it's... and terrible. It's I mean, I like the, the color. C and the, the bears. Nothing special, I think though. That might be a D tier. Yeah, for sure. Up next. The Bengals. The Bengals. Cincinnati okay. Bengals. Okay, that's. Um, it, it has charm. It's basic, but it still has. I mean, it's you know, kind of representative. The stripes. Again, the first letter of the team name mm -hmm. and also it's got some representation of it yeah maybe like a c or a b i think maybe b with angels because they're very yeah although angels has a bit more sort of charm to it so maybe c yeah yeah i'd say so um the buffalo bills the buffalo bills okay it's um i love it complex um, Pretty more, good. More interesting. Mm hmm Maybe like a clean A. Uh, yeah, uh, here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go A. It's more representative of the team than the others. Mm -hmm. What's uh, the big star with the flag? We got the the blue jackets, like American stuff. All right. I mean, what are they? I like, like it. International team. Um, it's an NHL team, but maybe less representative of them but it looks quite nice and it's quite yeah and stuff give it like an a yeah what's the uh horse head the broncos pretty representative of the team yeah it's quite I like detailed. it it I'd just looks cool like the orange in the main i'd say maybe the the i a tier maybe an s tier yeah i'd give it an a, give it an a. okay Okay, so what's this, a wheel with a B inside? Boston Bruins. I think it's supposed to be like a like a wagon wheel. That's what it looks like to me. I like it, personally. The colors look cool. I like the B in the middle. I think the shape. Maybe a B? Yeah, I was thinking B as well, because it's... I don't know. It's... This, I don't think it's quite the same tier as the A tier ones. I can't quite read what that says on the next one it says milwaukee bucks i love this one i love the colors and stuff yeah it's nice coloring um maybe an s tier perhaps yeah yeah i'd say an s tier i mean obviously not this size but you can tell what team it is even if you have no clue of sports the big red bull the chicago bulls I like it a lot. It's really detailed. It's got nice detail. The colors are nice. It's uh, this one seems like maybe the color red is associated with Chicago in some way. I'm mm -hmm. kind of getting that vibe. I think maybe A or B. S or A. Yeah, S or A. Go A then. A. Yeah. Arizona Cardinals. I think it looks real cool. It's quite quite a nice logo. Yeah. I like the like the beak and the red. It's some good contrast in it. Still say like S or A. Yeah, I was gonna say A. Cleveland Cavaliers, another one with its name on it. Mm hmm. I like the sword and I like the color of the ball. I That's assume, really cool. I, I I assume they are a basketball team. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Definitely. Cavaliers and sword is pretty closely linked. That's. Some good symbols. Yes, obviously I think it's really good. Team with a basketball in the back. It's got their mm -hmm. name. I think this might be an S tier. Uh huh, for sure. 
because it's really quite representative of mm, of everything. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Hey. Celtic. Does that say? Celtics. It's pronounced yeah. Celtic. I like the little man there. He has basketball in his hand and a cane. He's a little. And it, what's that like a leprechaun? Which is. Uh, yeah, it's like a leprechaun. Representative of the Celts, the Irish. The colorings maybe a bit more all over the place than the S tier, so I think maybe an A yeah, kinda. for that one. Yeah, I'd give it an A. Yeah, okay, what's this? Something Los Angeles. LA Clippers. I like the little like LA design in the middle there. Yeah. And then the and I... C around it, it's sort of the T. Uh huh, yeah. And the basketball in the back. Yeah. Chef's kiss. I'd say it looks quite nice. I think that might be an A tier. I, I know we're getting yeah. a lot of A's, but I mean, you'd mm -hmm. hope they're quite good. You'd hope the logos are yeah. quite good. Star. What's the star for? Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Right. Okay. I like it. It's kind of basic. It, it It's very it, basic. I don't feel like it really... But I like the colors. So maybe it's like a... B or C, I'd say. Yeah, I'd maybe give it like a... A B. Give it a B. Yeah. Colors are cool. It represents the Cowboys with the, with the star. Kind of, yeah. I'm going to guess the team name is the Devils. Yep. The... Um, I couldn't tell you the location. I don't watch hockey much, but... Right. Um, yeah, the Devils. It, it kind of looks like an NJ. So, like, isn't New Jersey a state? I like it. It has, like, the D for Devils and the... Uh, the yeah. NJ. And then obviously it's got like oh, a like, devil's tail. I give it an A or B. I think A. Yeah, I'd say A. Because it is. The it has a lot of good of the details. It's is nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this next one. Miami Dolphins. I love the colors. The colors look so cool. The, the colors, they're nice and contrasting. I think it's, uh -huh. it's very detailed. Yeah. And obviously being the Dolphins, it's, you know, describing the team a bit. Yeah, the Dolphins, like, the Dolphins swimming like that. Yeah. It looks really cool. I think maybe another A, maybe even an S. Yeah, I'd give it maybe, give it an S, honestly. I'm going to guess either the Florida Cougars or the Florida Pumas. I'm not sure between Panthers, them. actually. Panthers, oh, God. I, I, I don't know my big cats. I like the colors. They look really cool. The colors are nice. Obviously, it's... He's got the state name, and it's got an image of uh, the panther on it. I think. Yeah, yeah, and I like the little, like the the shape of the outside thing. Yeah. Looks real nice. This might be an A tier, maybe a B. Yeah, I give it an A. Yeah. Memphis okay, the next Grizzlies. one. Okay. Yep. I like the Memphis the sort of Shading contrast of the bare face. Oh yeah, the shading's nice, and I like the eyes, they're like yellowish. Yeah, nice contrast to the blues. Mm -hmm. uh, I give it... You can tell what it is, it's obviously representing the team, and also it's got the name. Uh-huh, yeah, so I'd say A or... I'm, I'm... Yeah, an A, maybe even an S. I was, I was thinking maybe S, because it's very similar to the Cavaliers in how he's got a lot of those... Um, like things that make a good logo. Uh huh. Yeah, it's the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah. I like it. I think. I don't think it's quite as good as the S tiers. I think it's maybe a high yeah. A tier. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think it quite oh. makes it into S. Uh, what are these? Ooh. The Hornets. What what state? The is Charlotte say? Hornets. You're in North Carolina, All right. okay. or South Carolina, one of the Carolinas. Um, I love it. I think it looks great. Yeah, I, again, it's... It's like the, like the Cavaliers, kind of. I think the primary colour on white is a nice contrast. Obviously, mm -hmm. the actual Hornet in the background. It's got the team yeah. name. Yeah, I'd give it an S. Yeah. It's like the Cavaliers one. I like it. Astros, the Houston Astros. Hurricanes. 
I was going to say uh, it looks like a Beyblade, but it kind of does look like a hurricane, I guess. Yeah. Um, like it literally like on a radar and yeah. stuff. I, mean, I like the colors. Yeah, the colors are nice and contrasting. <clears throat> um, obviously, mm -hmm. it is a hurricane itself, I think. Yeah. Maybe like a maybe A? A? I was going to say maybe B, because I don't think it quite tells you. Yeah, yeah as I'd, I'd say B. Ones. Jaguars. Jaguars. Right. Okay. I like it. The tongue, can you see like the inside of the tongue? It's like that cool blue. And sort of the, I, th I think the tongue is sort of less well contrasted than the eye is, because you can see the eye is the same colour. And uh -huh. it stands out more against the yellow. I think yeah. maybe an A tier with that one, because it's very representative of what the team is. Yeah, I'd give it like a A high A. Yeah. Not the Los Angeles you can Lakers. Say, it's basic. I'll shoot it to you straight. It's pretty basic. It's, it seems like a worse version of the Cavaliers logo. Yeah, I'd say that. It doesn't really have anything like that represents Lakers. Yeah. Like a Laker or anything like that. So I'd give it maybe a C or a B. Yeah, I was gonna say I like the colors so I'll give it A or B. I'll give it the colors. I, I think the colors are nice. Yeah, the colors are nice and obviously it tells you what the team is so you know who it is. Dallas Mavericks. Okay. There's a lot. That's a lot, but That's a lot of detail. I can't really make much of that out. I like how it like goes into the basketball like perfectly like a circle. Yeah, it's quite nice, but I don't <laughs> I don't think do, does Maverick have a link with horses? Yeah, that's what like that's like a nickname for horses. Is it? I've never yeah. heard that as a nickname for horses. I hear it all the time. Alright. It must be a take my word for thing. it. Yeah. Probably. I mean I like it. I like like the, you know, as I said, the circle yeah, and the, right. like represents them well. The colors are nice too. I think it's maybe. So maybe it could be an S, honestly. I think it's maybe a little too detailed, because like, yeah. when they're all the same size, you can't really mm. make out what it is without knowing first. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can see that. High A. Yeah, high A for that one. I'd say. What are these? The hey. Mets. I've heard of this one, but... Yeah, it's the New York I Mets. I like the skyline it, and the bridge. Is it sort of designed as a... What is it, a baseball? Yeah, they're a baseball yeah. team. Yeah, I like that aspect too. The colors are cool. And obviously it's got the... You know, it's got skyline. The features of New York. It's got mm -hmm. the team name. Bridge. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um... I'd say ARS, personally. Give it an A. Yeah, yeah I'll give it an A. A. It's a uh, swordfish. It's the, um, the Marlins, Miami oh, Marlins. Mar the Marlins, okay. That's another word for, like, swordfish or something like that. I like, I love the colors. The colors are real good. Like, the, like, yeah, the subtle think... red and the blue. Yeah, surrounded by the black. Quite, quite good colors, um... And I like the, like the little swordfish going around the end. It's, it's, got, it's got the initial and it's got um, the actual marlin itself on there. Yeah. I'd give it a, think, an A or an S. Yeah, I think maybe a high A there. Next, we got the Brooklyn Nets. That's my, my team. It's, you know, I'm a fan, but it's kind of basic it's to me. It's a very, very basic <laughs> logo. I like the font of the B. Yeah. The B font is cool. And I like the the what is it? The crest. I don't know what's it, what that shape is called, but the shape is cool. Yeah. And it says nets, but like we said, it's basic. I give it like maybe a B. Yeah, I'll go B. The Denver Nuggets. I think I said gold okay. nugget, like yeah. a gold nugget. And I love okay. this one. I love the colors, and I like the the pickaxes and the gold nugget at the top of the pickaxes. Yeah, but it says Denver Nuggets. It represents it real well. Yeah, I think I'd give it an S. Yeah, I was gonna go S as well. That's you got the like Penguins. I'm gonna say. 
No, it's the Orioles. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that before. Um, um, it's just like a bird, I think. Some right, kind of bird. Yeah. I like the black and the orange. They go real well together. Yeah, I think... And I like the little hat aspect. They're a baseball team. I don't quite like how sort of down here there's no outline to the beak. So it just blends into this massive outline. And yeah. That's, that's definitely missing something. Mm-hmm. I'd give it maybe an A or a B. I, I, I'd say A B. or high B. I'd say B. Yeah, high B. It's a Green Bay Packers. It's not Okay, so I like the... The colors are nice, though. The green and the yellow go together now. It's... I mean, other than being an initial, it doesn't really represent much. Yeah, it doesn't really stand out much when it comes to the name. Maybe a C tier there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The New Orleans Pelicans. That's quite a nice uh, logo, I'd say. The, yeah, the I would wings, give it... Like the, the contrast on the wings oh. is nice. Mm-hmm. The colors are real good. And I like the New Orleans. Like, it's, like, big and... Yeah, quite, like, quite proud of where they're from. Yeah, um, all the colors are, like, yeah. representative to New Orleans and I'd stuff. I give it an S, for yeah. sure. But Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh hockey Penguins. team. Okay. Um, this is my hockey team. I love this hockey team. The black and yellow, I like it a lot. Yeah, but I might just be a biased Pittsburgh person. But It's got... You know, the um, representation of uh, yeah. what they are, obviously. The yeah, and the hockey. I like the little triangle in the back there. It adds, like, the It's the color pal. yellow, like, associated with Pittsburgh. Uh-huh, yeah. The colors are, like, that's for every Pittsburgh team. And that's right. how everybody represents Pittsburgh with black and yellow. I mean... Um, it's nice. I'd give it an A. Yeah. Clean A. I'm guessing two Pittsburgh teams in a row. Yeah. The Pittsburgh Pirates. This is very basic. I, it's yeah. just the letter. I like the font. It's give... slightly interesting. Yeah, I'd give it a D or a C. Honestly. Uh, yeah, I think a C. Because the font mm-hmm. is interesting. It's not just this basic font. Yeah, and like the colors represent Pittsburgh, as we said. So next we got the Baltimore Ravens. Right, it might just be because it was cut off, but it looks there almost like Sonic the Hedgehog. I like the the B there in the middle. Like, it's yeah. the same as the outline, which I like. The colors are cool. Yeah, it's nice color, and it's obviously got um, good Detail. representation of what it is, as long as the beak is still, as long as you can see the full image. Yeah, I like the, the detail, too. and It's got the initial. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The B, it's nice. I give an S or high A, personally. Yeah, I think I quite like just the general look of it. I think it's an S tier. We got the Boston Red Sox. Okay. I think we know where this is going. But also... I think we know where it's going. It's a very strange logo to just have a pair of socks. (laughs) I I, I like the idea. Straight to quack. Just without... Right there. I, mm-hmm. I think I've heard of the team, but I would personally not have associated them together because it's just a pair of red socks, even though that's their name. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit cursed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pittsburgh curious. Steelers. I'm... It doesn't really represent, like, steel at all. That's what they're named after, like, I've, the Steelers. I've got the name itself on it. Yeah, but, I mean, like, the, the three the stars... Oh wait! I think the I three like stars you. represent. Uh, I think the three stars they represent. They might represent the, the three rivers, which are really popular in Pittsburgh. Okay. That's I what think, I think when I see the stars I think personally. It could be argued that the they gray can, uh, ring around the outside is sort of a steely color, but I don't think it's really uh-huh. a strong enough link. I yeah. Think... Maybe a high B. I, I was thinking B. Because it represents Pittsburgh with the three rivers thing. Yeah. And, you know, the steel on the outside. And, yeah. yeah it's a bit tenuous, but, yeah. Oklahoma City Thunder. I love the colors. The colors look real nice. It's got nice colors, but then... 
I don't think there's much representation of like being Thunder. Obviously, it's got the yeah, you know, the little like the little like spikes. I think they're supposed to represent like kind of like lightning. I think the <laughs> it's hard to represent Thunder. The font in the logo. The OKC is quite nice. Uh huh, and the little thunder on the top. Yeah, I think. I give it an A, clean A. Yeah. Because it's hard to represent thunder. Yeah. The logo, because you can't really see thunder. The Tennessee Titans. I like the colors. It's got no, like the little flame. I was thinking it was maybe going to be comets or something. I think the. I don't think. Yeah, that does particularly representative of mm-hmm. who they are in my opinion yeah Titans yeah yeah I like I, think... I like it but it doesn't represent like you said I'd maybe give it like a I'd say maybe the flame the flame looks good though I'd say maybe like the flame a thing low A or high B because it looks yeah. good but it's not very give it like a... yeah an A yeah. nice sounds good What's this? The Golden State Warriors. Obviously, it's got the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Where? The gold, where, where's that? I'm uh-huh. not very good with US geography. Yeah, that's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, but, uh, mm-hmm. They're in San Francisco. San Francisco, that's the one. It's kind of basic, but I like the representation of the Golden Gate Bridge. And the colors are cool, too. Um, it's like very proud of where they're from. Yeah. But there's not really anything showing, like, who they are. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I think, yeah. obviously, with the yellow and blue, it's nice contrast. Yeah. Say, I give it maybe B. Yeah, I was going to say maybe. Below A. Yeah. Washington Wizards. I mean, it's They're in Washington, D.C. Um, what is it? Washington Monument, is it called? Yeah, the Washington Monument, the monument there in the middle, in the bottom. And the star, like star maybe the sort of magical mm-hmm. kind of representation there. Yeah, what represents Washington D.C. and yeah. and the wizard. But there's not much wizard representation. Yeah, I I quite like the contrast of just that tiny bit of red at the top. To the yeah, that's really nice. Majority of blue. I think mm-hmm. maybe another high B low A. Give it a B. High B. The Yankees. I've heard of this one. I'm not oh, quite like, a, I don't really know a what a Yankee Yankees. even is. Uh-huh. Uh huh. A Yankee is just an American person. It's sort of slang mm. for an American person. It, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously, they've got the, obviously, the like stereotypical Uncle Sam hat. Yeah, and the bat, like yeah, the hat the, is on a bat. They've got the baseball bat and the baseball that in the background. And I like the colors. The colors are yeah. No representative of a Yankee. I think yeah. Obviously, it tells you who it is as well. Maybe like a I, a. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it. it just looks pleasing to the eye enough to be an S tier. Yeah, it's definitely an A. Mm-hmm. This is the oh another Yankees logo. Everyone's hats. Yeah, it's another Yankees logo, but it's like the different one. Um, it's basic, but I like the NY there, the New York Yankees. I think. Give it like a high C. Yeah. Because it, it's like quite pleasing to the eye, but it's not really representative of anything. Are we happy with that? Is that... I argue that the Bulls, I think... that, the Bulls are kind of like the Grizzlies one. Which could move the Bulls to the S, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, I'll go for that. I think I'm happy with that. Uh huh. Is there anything that you want to shout out or for me to link or whatever? Um, shout out to Impractical Jokers, because I'm watching it right now in the background. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Um, thank you for this beautiful experience. Yeah, I. It was, Good fun, even though I know nothing about sports. <laughs>